Hi everyone, hope everyone is super super well today. Welcome back to my channel and today's video I am doing a set on my own hands using the pop-off method. So if you'd like to see how I created this, then please keep watching. Today I'm going to be using all Glitterville's products, Sugar O's, Wi-Fi. Um, this one, Attention Seeker, is from their Valentine's collection. And Love Crush. So yeah, this is a bit different for me. Um, I usually do work on my practice hands, but I wanted to try something different this year so I've been watching a few videos uh, and seeing people do this pop-off method uh, which if you'd like to know what how I did how I did this method then just leave a comment and I will do a video on that as well so I'm starting out with the sugar rose and I'm just building up that nail with that core powder I can build my apex and everything with this as it doesn't need to be encapsulated in clear acrylic. It was a little bit cold when I came into my nail room but I put the heater on and then it soon warmed up. As you can see when I do place the bead down it is a little bit runny. So now I'm just working on the tip area. This core powder is a beautiful pink. Um, it really is pretty. They do it in this one and they do a shimmer one as well. I've got a load of links in my description box um, for different companies and discount codes. Now coming in with the cuticle bead. I'm trying to get it nice and neat around this cuticle. Like I said, this, this was a totally different video for me. Um, and yeah, I was panicking a bit and a bit stressed because it is something different. But I, I did enjoy it and I'm glad that I did it. So I hope you guys like it as well. And yeah, if you'd like to see me carry on doing my videos like this then let me know leave me a comment and I'll be happy to do so so now I'm coming in on the index finger again with the sugar rose and I'm going to build up that nail with that core powder I do apologise for going out of shot a bit sometimes or couldn't be helped. So I hope you guys are super super well, 
hope you've been enjoying the start of 2024 let me know if you've got any plans what you've been up to and yeah so again I'm coming in at the cuticle with the sugar rose and just building up that cuticle area now coming in on the ring finger and I'm doing a very wet bead of the Wi-Fi. I just want to use this as the background colour for my glitters. So just using it like it's paint really. And then I'm coming in with the Love Crush. This is a beautiful, beautiful glitter mix. And then I'm coming in with the Attention Seeker. I have left this part of the video in real time um, just because I wanted to show you guys how I work but the rest of the video obviously is sped up otherwise it would be too long. So I'm just pushing that glitter around, making sure I've got everything where I want it. I've also got some uh, separate uh, red glitter hearts which I do add in as well. It really is a stunning mix this. Guys, if you've not got it, head on over to Glitter Bells. And there is quite a few uh, Valentine's Collection glitters available. When I'm happy with how I've got the glitter placed, I will leave it to set and then come in and encapsulate in clear acrylic. Moving on to the middle finger, I've applied the wifey and the love, the love crush and I'm coming in with the attention seeker as this is going to be a full nail of glitter. So 
So again, just pushing the pieces around, getting them where I want them to be, and then I will come in with the other red love heart. I did enjoy doing this design on myself um, and it was so good when I, I could just pop them off at the end um, so I think I will do some more videos like this just applying those red love hearts and then again when I'm happy I will leave it to set so sparkly So now moving on to the thumb and this is going to be the same as the pinky so I'll just let you guys watch this. So now moving back to the pinky and I'm coming in with the sugar rose and I'm just ombre that over that glitter. So I place my first bead where my glitter finishes and just ombre the front of that bead over the glitter. And then I come in with another bead to just build up this nail. I'm not going to build any strength or structure up with this 
cocoa powder because obviously I have got to encapsulate this one with it being in glitter. Now coming in with a small cuticle bead, trying to get that cuticle nice and neat, making sure I don't flood the cuticle. And I'm now doing the same again on the thumb. So now I'm going to show you how I encapsulate this nail. This bead was a little bit too wet, but you want to make sure that you crystal clear. Um, it does need to be a little bit wetter than normal, just so you don't get any air bubbles. And I'm placing the first bead where I'm going to start to build up my apex area and then again coming in with another bead exactly where I placed the last bead to build up that apex and then when I'm happy with how that's looking I will finish the rest of the nail as you can see there I'm happy with the apex so I will just carry on with the rest of the nail so I'm coming in and just doing a small bead at the free edge area as I don't want it to be too thick and bulky at the free edge yeah. 
checking all the time, making sure I keep everything nice and neat. And now I'm coming in with a cuticle bead just to finish off that nail. I don't show you encapsulating all the nails uh, as again the video would be too long. And I don't show any filing in this one with it being the first time that I did it I thought Let's not leave the filing in. But if you guys want to see any filing left in, and then again, just drop me a comment in the comments box, and I will be happy to do so. And obviously I show you how I encapsulate the thumb so I'd only left one nail in but never mind so again just the same as the last nail placing my bead where my apex area is and pulling the front of that bead down Now coming in with the cuticle bead. Again, sorry I, I go out of shot guys. I will make sure it's better next time. And then when I'm happy with how I've encapsulated the nails, I will let them set, file them, and then come back for design. I'm now just coming in with some alcohol spray just to clean all the nails up as they've all been filed. And that's the final result so now I'm coming in with Glitterbell's Hema Free Gel Polish uh, this one is called Ladybird and I'm just doing a red French on the ring finger now this is the first time ever I've done um, a French like this on myself 
so I do apologise if it's a bit long this bit. Oh, I got there and I was happy with the final result. So I'm just doing the outline first and then I will come in and fill in the tip area with the polish. Just cleaning up those sides. This is the most stunning red, it really is, it's perfect for Christmas, perfect for Valentine's. now just neatening it all up making sure it's all nice and even and then I will cure in my lamp for 60 seconds So it's now come out of the lamp and I'm coming in with some gem gel and I'm just going to apply a few crystals to this nail. Just love my bling. I think they just finish it off. And then I'm coming in with some caviar beads. And that one just didn't want to stick at all. Oh, there we go. And then I'm coming in with a bit more of the gel. And I'm just going to place a little bow on the corner of this nail. And then I will cure for 60 seconds. And then coming in on the index finger. And again, I'm just going to apply a roll, a, a roll of crystals. So I did speed this bit up so it wasn't too long. So we like to faff that. And then when I'm happy again, I will cure these. And then come in with some caviar beads to finish off. So here are the nails and I'm now coming in with Glissbell's Hemi Free No White Top Coat. I'm going to top coat all these nails and pop them in the lamp for 60 seconds. And that is the end of this video today guys. So I really hope you enjoyed this different kind of video. I sure did enjoy creating it. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel 
please do so I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and then you won't miss any of more any of my uploads can't talk today and yeah let me know what you thought about this video hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next video guys thanks for watching today bye